A van packed with potentially explosive material is abandoned on the Ben Franklin Parkway. The ATF was called to the scene overnight, all while more looting was reported throughout the city despite a citywide curfew. Eyewitness News reporter Jane Carabello is live in Northeast Philadelphia where several stores were damaged during the unrest. Good morning, Jan. Jim, good morning. We're told just about over half of the stores here in this Northeast Philadelphia strip mall were damaged by vandals overnight. I was able to speak to a manager still on the scene. He tells me it was right around midnight when a group of people, he estimates between 12 and 15 people, rolled up in cars, got out, and then went business by business down this road, simply smashing windows. It does not appear they were looking to take anything from inside. This is a live look this morning at Red's Bar and Grill. You you can see the front windows are smashed out. The manager has since cleaned up all of the broken glass, and they have a piece of plywood out here this morning to start the cleanup process. And like I said, more than half of the stores here are looking at similar damage. Let's take a look at the video now, though. Earlier in the night in a different part of the city, the ATF was busy investigating what they're calling a suspicious vehicle and device. This is North 19th Street and the Ben Franklin Parkway. Police tell us they responded for a report of a van carrying hazardous and explosive materials. When they arrived, investigators found propane tanks and torches. No one was with that van at the time, and no arrests have been made. In the meantime, back here in Northeast Philadelphia at this shopping center at Sally in the Boulevard, owners are cleaning up broken glass. The vandals smash the doors and windows at the Acme, a cleaners, a wine and spirit shop, as well as Red's Bar and Grill. Take a listen to what happened there at midnight. We were inside and we were doing a couple cleaning jobs and everything, just trying to spruce the place up at the time. And we just seen a bunch of cars pull up, so we hit the lights. And later, soon as we know it, they come up with bats and just start smashing windows. And we heard them smash the windows down the road, down Acme, liquor store, cleaners, broke in. But luckily, they just smashed our windows and, and hightailed it out. The day just lapped over now, so it's a new day. And it's also yesterday, so I don't know what to call it. But it's cleanup day, I know that for sure. Trying to keep it light there. Everyone is safe, and that's really all that matters at the end of the day. You can see there, they are still cleaning up down the row here. This is the wine and spirit shop, a whole lot of glass on the ground. They clearly broke through the plywood here, broke through the glass, and then into this store. I see a couple of bottles down the aisle there, broken, and some broken bottles here up front. But overall, it looks like a lot of their in inventory is still intact. So, a lot of damage out here. It's it's unclear if they were just looking to do damage or get inside at that bar and grill with the manager who we spoke to say nothing was taken inside, just a lot of damage for them to clean up this morning. We're going to keep you up to date on both of those stories, but for now, we're live in Northeast Philadelphia. Jan Carabao, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Back into you. Another morning of cleanup ahead, Jan. Thanks for that update.